Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvir Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. As you know, I am MD in Ayurvedic Medicine and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology, that is Ayachikitsa and Kriyashari. We are having the series that is Ayurveda in General Medical Practice or Ayurveda in GP. Today, we are going to discuss about the pain in abdomen, which is very common complaint uh, in our medical practice because a lot of people one or the other time in their life they suffer from the pain in the abdomen but here in spite of the treatment the most important thing is the proper diagnosis to find out the root cause and treat basically the root cause this pain in abdomen is a very vast and big topic where we are discussing nearly 15 type of the pain in abdomen and their management ayurvedic medicines or ayurvedic management so, I have divided this particular uh, whole thing into the four parts. So, pain in abdomen part one, we will discuss only causes of the pain in abdomen and then a little bit about the investigation. And from part two, part three, part four, we will discuss, we will see the different prescriptions for the different problems of pain in abdomen. So, let us start to discuss about this particular uh, management or rather causes in the first section. So, my dear friends, uh, to go forward, I will like to make this is a little bit more wider so that you can easily access the particular screen. So, pain in abdomen, there are basically three types you can see. Acute abdomen with shock. Acute abdomen without shock. This is the second part. You must try to understand. Chronic abdominal pain. This is the third part that you can see in this particular session. So, we will discuss step by step. First, we will see the pain in abdomen with shock. And this is a case where you have to admit the patient in the hospital, especially where ICU facilities are available. Because pain in abdomen with shock, what, does you, what do you mean by shock? Shock is a, uh, because of the pain or because of the problems inside, uh, the brain gets the less blood supply and the patient becomes unconscious, drowsy, unconscious or the deep conscious. There are different levels of the consciousness. And that is very, very serious condition. You have to admit the patient in the hospital. These cases should not be treated in, at the level of general medical practice or no wastage of time should be done at your home. So it is also called as acute abdomen or surgical abdomen. Remember my word, surgical abdomen where many times surgery is required to be performed. Okay. Uh, here you will be basically get the low blood pressure. Normally, it is 120 by 80, but the systolic blood pressure will may do, drop down to the 80 or 70 mm of age. I am talking about figure of 120, it will drop down. So, hypotension or low blood pressure, this is the first. Then, fast and 3D pulse. If you palpate the pulse, it will be faster. Say, for example, normal is 80 per minute. In spite of that, it may be 110, 120 per minute, but it becomes feeble and 3D. And third thing, there may be little bit sweating or profuse sweating in the shock patients. So shock can be determined by the pulse, by the blood pressure and by the sweating, this type of the complaint and of course the status of consciousness. So first thing is a perforation of some organ. Perforation is like a breaking of that particular tissue. Then cyst may be the cause. Internal hemorrhage, try to understand. Then acute intestinal obstruction. It may be the strangulated hernia. It may be, it requires the surgery. Into susception, the uh, intestine goes inside to the one another lumens. They mix with each other. Then internal strangulation volvulus. Strangulation is like a spiral thing. The intestines become twisted with each other. So one is moving each other and one is twisting. So into susception and strangulation. Then paralytic ileus. Your intestinal paralytic movements or rather Peristalsis will stop. Peristalsis will stop. That is called as a paralytic ileus. That is also one of the danger things. So, in hemorrhage or the obstruction, two, three important things. Severe pain in abdomen. Severe pain. Unbearable. Then, if the doctor or the relative or anybody try to touch the abdomen, he is so grumbling if he is conscious that he cannot tolerate your touch. That is called as a tenderness in English and sparsha sahatva in Ayurveda. Try to understand. Sparsha asahatva. This much tenderness, 
this much delicateness and third important thing by chance if you try to touch the abdomen it is having bold like rigidity bold like rigidity very 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 hard because all the muscles are contracted and protecting themselves because internally there is severe pathology so there is a bold like rigidity and when you do the x ray there will be typical gas under diaphragm gas under diaphragm this is particular phrase for the radiological finding this indicates that the patient is suffering from acute abdomen or surgical abdomen so two main reasons hemorrhage and the obstruction next torsion ovarian cyst embolism of mesenteric artery acute pancreatitis especially this is very common in the alcoholic patient severe pain in the lower middle part of your abdomen vomiting will be there and again all these things whatever i have discussed that will there will be there and then you have to do the blood test and some serum amylase you can do also sonography all these investigations we will discuss further then acute dilatation of stomach and severe gastroenteritis inflammation of the stomach inflammation of the intestine and both vomiting will be severe and uh, watery loose motions will be there extreme case of dehydration will be there so in all these about seven problems the patient has to be admitted in the hospital that's why the title is acute abdomen with shock i think you have understood what is the thing next we will go further and we will discuss the cases where there is acute abdominal pain but without shock so there will not be too much hypotension pulse that much not a tachycardia or feeble pulse sweating will be less so these cases if the doctor is very expert he can definitely manage these cases in his general practice by especially allopathy they try to give the intravenous injections or intramuscular injections and that gives the lapid relief ayurvedic consultants or ayurvedic hospitals they give the chartana treatment and muhurumuhu frequent chartana licking of some medicines that can help to this particular patient first thing about this acute abdomen very severe cases that means it starts within hours or maximum within one day that is called as acute and if the pain in abdomen is for 6 months 7 months 1 year 2 year that is called as a chronic abdomen pain of course colic you know the colic is like a spasmodic pain try to write down colic is equal to spasmodic pain for example intestinal colic majority cause is amebiasis giardiasis dysentery etc renal colic because of the urinary or renal stone that stone is stuck up at the junction because here are the kidneys on both sides right and left then ureter starts and then the bladder the ureter goes into bladder bladder is a collection where the urine is kept for before voyation and then renal colic is stone obstructed at the different places then biliary colic related with the bile stones it is related with the gall bladder then appendicular colic appendicitis everybody in the childhood lot of cases are there appendicitis uh, infections uh, so there basically uh, you can see the central abdominal umbilical pain starts and then it radiates to the right lower abdominal region then there may be vomiting okay so three types of the symptom fever will be there vomiting will be there and that particular uh, macburney's point tenderness this is a very typical please write down medical students macburney's point tenderness is a specialty of appendicular colic then pyloric spasm will be there the next is appendicitis here appendicular colic and here is appendicitis then pancreatic calculus you know the pancreas is a important organ for diabetes left middle abdomen left side and middle abdomen floating kidney splenic these are rare causes rare rare splenic embolism and some more other obscure the exact finding is not possible organic affections then root or referred pain may also be there that means the uh, problem will may, may be in the vertebral column spinal column anywhere other lung problem for example lung cancer and metastatic cells they goes into the intestines and then they spread up so this type of the referred pain may also be there now we will see the causes of chronic abdominal pain let us see the third part 
chronic abdominal pain. That means these pa patients will not have the hours uh, history. It is uh, for one week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, two months, three months, like that. Chronic appendicitis, intermittent attacks may be there. Chronic intestinal obstruction because of the malignant cancer, cancer of any organ, stricture, simple stricture, like fibrosis, previously ulcer was there and it was healed and that becomes a fibrosis, pressure by some tumor, chronic peritonitis, like for example, ascites, first there will be the uh, uh, liver jaundice and then the cirrhosis and then the ascites. So this step by step will go ahead. Viscerotosis. Viscera is a specific abdominal organs. It may have uh, what you can say, they lose their original contact and they move from one place to the little bit shifting. That is called the viscerotosis. Spastic colon or the chronic or mucus colitis. It's a little bit compared with the irritable bowel syndrome or irritable bowel disease where the patient has either loose motions or constipation. And the basic thing, they have always a chronic indigestion and naturally pain in abdomen will be there, but they have to rush to the toilet immediately after any taking breakfast or lunch or dinner. They have to go to the toilet. That is irritable, sensitive colon. Diverticulum is like a bulging of jejunum and ileum. That walls will be bulged out. Movable kidney, pain following the previous abdominal operation. Any surgery, maybe hernia, maybe appendicectomy. And after that, the pain will persist for a longer duration. So I think uh, it is better if I can go with this. So obscure visceral and spinal disease may be there. Pancreatic disease. Now, there is another method to diagnose the pain in abdomen problem. In the general practice, the most common causes of pain in abdomen causes are explained according to the site of the pain. Where is the pain? Doctor always asks, show me, beta, show me, dada, kuthe aple la dukta hai? Aapko kaha par dard hota hai? Where do you have the pain in abdomen? So when the patient is localizing by his hand, by his finger, he will point it out. Here, doctor, here I am getting pain. Here I am getting pain. So, to get the idea of the site, doctor should divide the area of the abdomen. You, you can imagine your abdomen is like this huh? from the diaphragm. Upper part is the chest, then middle is the diaphragm, uh, sorry, abdomen. And then your legs and inguinal region start. So, that whole abdomen, if you consider imaginary as a square, then the right part is supposed, for example, this first part, second part, third part, they have the specific names. I am going to tell, tell you afterwards. This is the upper part of your abdomen, three segments, right side, middle side, and the left side. Okay. Then this is the umbilical area, middle part of your abdomen. This is the fourth part around the umbilicus, fifth part, and the left part, that is the sixth part. Then below umbilicus is the lower abdomen. This is upper abdomen, this is middle abdomen, this is lower abdomen. Then seventh, eighth, and ninth region. So total, you have to divide imaginary our abdomen into nine parts and accordingly pain in abdomen will give the idea about the diagnosis okay let us move further so first part this is one this one right right side upper abdomen right upper abdomen is a pain in right hypochondrium the name of that part right please check right side right side on the upper part upper abdomen right upper corner right upper corner that is right hypochondrium there is always liver. So if the liver is infected with amoeba, that is hepatic amoebiasis. Then there is also behind the liver, there is a gallbladder. So if there is a bile stones, gallbladder pains are always on the right upper corner. Okay. Pleurisy. Pleurisy is actually the lung disease. You know that. Lung, because of the tubercular affection, your lungs are covered with two membranes. That is called as a pleura. In that pleura, there is excessive fluid that is called as a pleurisy. Uh, that pleurisy disease most commonly is because of the tuberculosis. And that also can give the pain in abdomen. But actually the problem is in the lungs. Okay, X-ray will tell you the finding. Spasm of hepatic flexure in irritable bowel syndrome. Actually our intestine, especially large intestine, it is the upper segment. Then that is a corner. That is hepatic flexure. Then it is a transverse segment. Again, here is a corner because of the spleen. Then downwards. Huh? So ascending colon, 
transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, then the rectum, and then the anus. Are you getting my point? Okay. So that is a spasm at that area. Peptic ulcer or peptic ulcer syndrome, it is related with the stomach and also the duodenum, but pain may be in the right upper corner. Okay. Now, second part. Second part. Can you see pain in the epigastric region? You will ask me, sir, what is that region? Again, again, come on, come on. Upper middle part. Upper, we have made the three segments. Are you understanding? Upper abdomen, middle abdomen, lower abdomen. Say once again, upper abdomen, middle abdomen, lower abdomen. Upper abdomen, middle abdomen, lower abdomen. Then upper, there are three segments, right? Middle, left, right? Middle, left. Now we are talking upper middle part that is related with stomach. So naturally peptic ulcer. Here the sign is called as a pointed sign. When there is ulcer, patient will not make the hand. He will say, doctor, here, here. Specific pointed sign. This is called the point sign. Point sign, S-I-G-N. This is very important to diagnose the peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer syndrome, maybe sometimes we have to do the endoscopy. And that is called as a OGD. Write down the name. Esophago gastro duodenoscopy. Esophago gastro esophagus, stomach and duodenum. All the things will be observed for ulcer or inflammation, gastritis. Then esophageal variasis. Everything can be diagnosed with the scopy. Okay. Hookworm. That can also be used the upper middle part of the abdomen. Chronic pancreatitis. Pancreas on the left side of your upper abdomen. Then biliary colic, again with the gallbladder, gallstones, bile stones, tender aorta. Aorta is the biggest artery starting from the heart, left ventricle. So this is the second part. Slowly and steady, you, we have to learn. Na? We have to learn. Okay. So this is pain in the... Here, I will mark for you. Please wait. Be patient. This is the upper left corner of the abdomen. Please see uh, by yourself. Upper left corner. Spasm of the splenic flexure. I have already explained the large intestine. Ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon. Now we are talking about this corner, left corner. So splenic flexure in irritable bowel syndrome. Pleurisy, again the same thing, right lung, left lung. So pleurisy may be here. But pleurisy is actually the lung is in the chest. But that pain can spread up to the abdomen. Splenic pain in the huge enlarged spleen, which is called as splenomegaly, especially in the hemolytic blood problem. Peptic ulcer or peptic ulcer syndrome related with the stomach and duodenum that can have the pain in the middle or right or the left. Okay, so upper abdomen is now finished. Now we will go for the middle abdomen. Okay, here we are. Here, here we are. Pain in the right lumbar region. Upper was epigastric. Epigastric. Now this is lumbar. Huh? So right lumbar, middle lumbar and the left. But middle part is called as umbilical because umbilicus is a, a hallmark over there. So right renal pain because we have the kidneys on the right and left side. Right and left. So related with the kidney, renal pain. Then gallbladder pain. It is related with the liver. Backside there is the gallbladder which is only the store of the bile. And from there bile comes into the Theodenum, okay? Pain in the umbilical region, central part of your abdomen, central, very central. Peptic ulcer or peptic ulcer syndrome, spasm of the transverse colon in irritable bowel syndrome or chronic pancreatitis, okay? Slowly, steadily, I am going forward and forward for you, my dear friends. Just wait. Pain in the left lumbar region. Can you get, get this? We are talking about middle part of your abdomen. Eh? So left renal pain, kidney pain, spasm of the descending colon in colitis or irritable bowel syndrome. Now we are coming at the lower part of your abdomen, lower part of your abdomen, right, middle and left. So lower right, that is called as the right iliac region. Appendix is there. So appendicitis, appendicular spasm will be there. Iliocecal tuberculosis. This is very interesting, eh? Because many people think that TB is only with the lung. This is not the case. TB can occur at other places also. Two other important places. One is abdominal tuberculosis, which is called as a ileocecal tuberculosis. This is a junction of ileum 
and the cecum junction of the small intestine and the large intestine okay cancer of the colon chronic amoeboma is a tumor because of the amoebiasis infection amoeba and giardia these are the parasites comes through your stomach through your because of the contaminated or polluted water so whenever you are traveling whenever you go for picnic you should be careful about the water because they come through the water uh, amoeba and giardia gynec problems because uh, all the gynecological structures for example on both sides lower abdomen in the females there are ovaries then the fallopian tubes at the central part of your abdomen that is a uterus uterus main important part reproductive uh, system uh, is a very important part that uterus then stone in the right ureter stone in the right ureter now we will go further slowly and steadily we will try to go up be careful be careful because i am going slow because uh, you must not miss any point from this okay pain in the hypogastric region that is a central and but lower lower most part of your abdomen but central part that that you have the urinary bladder there urinary bladder so there may be cystitis there may be stone or there may be other inflammation problem or cancer problem and gynec pain especially uterus fibro in the uterus ha huh? cervicitis vaginitis all these cases will give the lower abdominal pain or the pain during the menstruation this menorrhea that is because of this region pain in the now left lower abdomen left part gynec disorders because there are ovaries fallopian tubes so sarfingitis uveritis inflammations spasm of the descending colon and stone in the left ureter okay vague abdominal pain which cannot be localized or generalized abdominal pain. this is another category that we are going to see okay so these are the things which can give you non specific area pain they will say doctor i cannot find out here here anywhere i get pain anywhere in the abdomen no partitions no division then causes may be first cause may be round worm second other parasites like trichuria trichuria strongyloides giardia etc all the parasites because of the contaminated polluted water food etc chronic amoebiasis irritable bowel syndrome abdominal tuberculosis lactose this is a sugar in the milk intolerance or food allergy purgatives that is a, a what you can say the abuse of purgatives it is not prescribed by doctor by patient himself for the constipation repeatedly taking allopathic or ayurvedic some purgatives that is very bad for the abdomen cancer of the pancreas so these all the causes can give the vague or generalized abdominal pain now my dear friends in this video we will talk about the investigations also for example let me mark for you these are the some important causes then we will go further hemogram and esr you know hemogram there is hemoglobin red blood cell count white blood cell count esr etc esr is another test hemogram because of the hemoglobin 12 to 14 gram percent is a normal if it is below 12 below 10 below 7 below 5 that is a mild anemia moderate anemia severe anemia then acute or chronic infections because white blood cells wbcs are the soldiers so if that count is a 4 to 10000 per cubic mm if it is 15000 mild infection 20000 per cubic mm moderate infection more than 25000 that is a severe infection maybe because of urinary infection maybe chest infections any infection in the body that cannot be specified but neutrophils they, if they are increased because there are five types of wbcs neutrophil eosinophil basophil lymphocyte monocyte if neutrophils are more that is a acute type of infection if lymph lymphocytes are more that is a chronic type of infection and esr is always giving you the progress of the disease when it is not a diagnostic test it is prognostic test whether the disease is getting going to cure or is going to worse and worse esr is more important in tuberculosis in rheumatoid arthritis or any chronic infections stool examination you have to do for cyst ova parasite lactose intolerance and occult blood whenever the stools are black in color especially senior citizen don't miss the diagnosis because that may indicate black colored stool tari stool tar tar damber ami marathi tela damber mhanto 
कालीकुट्ट संडासला होत असेल तर यू हॅव टू टेक प्रिकॉशन दॅट इट इंडिकेट्स देर मे बी ब्लिडिंग इन साईड इन द एबडॉमेन हा सो बी केअरफुल दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज अकल ब्लड टेस्ट युरिन रुटीन टू रूल आउट द युटीआय युरिनरी ट्रॅक इन्फेक्शन गायनिकोलॉजिकल चेकअप पर वजनल एक्झामिनेशन बाय लेडी डॉक्टर इन आयुर्वेदा अकॅडमी वी हॅव ऑल टाईप्स ऑफ द डॉक्टर्स वी हॅव ऑल द टाईप्स ऑफ द सेंटर्स क्लिनिक्स अँड हॉस्पिटल ऑल्सो प्लेन एक्स रे एबडॉमेन देन सोनोग्राफी एक्स रे के यू बी किडनी युरेटर अँड ब्लॅडर टू रूल आउट द किडनी स्टोन्स बेरियम मिल एक्स रे टू रूल आउट द पेप्टिक अल्सर ओरल पोलिसिस्टोग्राम टू एसे द गॉल ब्लॅडर फंक्शन एल एफ टी टू रूल आउट द लिव्हर पॅथोलॉजी अँड एबडॉमिनल अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी to check the abdominal pathology like for example tumors so my dear friends in this pain in abdomen our title was pain in abdomen so in this particular video part 1 i have discussed the causes of pain in abdomen and also i have discussed the investigation we will see don't forget to see the part 2 part 3 part 4 or you see the complete series it will give the confidence about the different problems in general medical practice i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell button icon to get the notification so thank you very much for your love cooperation and best wishes i wish all the best also take care and see you soon thank you